One of the most interesting things that happened to me, of course, is that I got a call from O.J. Simpson after I appeared on the Today Show with Gerardo. My name is Michael Eric Dyson. I'm University Professor of Sociology at Georgetown University, and I'm the author of Tears We Cannot Stop, A Sermon to White America. I said, look, there was nothing black on OJ but the bottom of his shoes. I said, when he took that long, slow ride down the LA freeway in AC Collins Bronco, it wasn't the first time he took a white vehicle to escape a black reality. Well, later that night at home, the phone rang. My wife answered it, and then the voice on the end of the phone said, do I call you Reverend or Doctor or Professor Dyson? It was OJ Simpson. And needless to say, I was scared and I responded, you can call me Mike, you don't have to call me Dr. Dyson. Because OJ had me shook, he had me scared, and he wanted to engage me, talk to me. I was uh, certainly afraid of Mr. Simpson, and when I saw his lawyer, Johnny Cochran, later I said, why did you give that brother my number? I know he kills white people, do he kill black people? Uh, that was remarkable to me because OJ was highly intelligent, highly articulate, uh, knowing the ins and outs of his defense, and yet to my mind, um, absorbed in such a fashion that he didn't understand some of the larger implications, racially speaking, of what his trial represented. One of the things the O.J. Simpson case did in America was create a race quake. It upended all the meanings we thought had been settled about race in America. Black people had been trying to communicate to white America that there was a problem with racial justice in America. We had been saying for decades, even for a century or more, that the criminal justice system was wrong, was criminally negligent, of black people, that the police departments of America had often been an occupying force in black America, that the law enforcement had a brutalizing uh, impulse when it came to black and brown people in America. But we couldn't be heard. And so with the O.J. Simpson verdict, it was finally time for black America to be heard. Many white people said there was a mountain of evidence. Many black people saw that there was a police force that was often out to do dirty deeds to black people that might have even framed O.J. Simpson. The verdict in the O.J. Simpson case was a reflection of the fraught racial differences and racial tensions in America, and as a result, have to be interpreted that way. Damn, y'all tried to get me hurt, man. Y'all know O.J. gonna be out of jail soon.